How do I put this nicely? Smartphones have become boring. All the black slabs look the same and have comparable cameras, processors, and screens. Yep, they're a snooze fest. Well, not all of them actually. This new LG G5 is proof that some phone makers are still after ideas that will wow us. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think you should buy this thing. The Samsung Galaxy S7 and the iPhone 6S are far better when it comes to camera, battery life, and design. So no, LG's latest may not be our phone of the present, but it points to the future. Yep, we're going to the future to see what our phones will look like. The G5 has a secret talent. Its bottom half slides out so you can attach different accessories. It's a glimpse at modular design. Think of it like Mr. Potato Head of smartphones. You add and remove parts to make the phone look and act as you want. The G5's modules, or friends, are limited at the moment. The most exciting one is this camera grip. Google's Project Aura team is designing a modular phone with far more flexibility, though. You can swap the screen, storage, speakers, camera, and more. Speaking of cameras, the G5 has two cameras on its back. And here in the future, we all have multiple cameras on our smartphones, so we can take incredible shots, even ones in 3D. A startup called Light says with six to eight lenses, a smartphone can take shots as good as this thing. More cameras mean capturing more of the scene, drastically improving low light performance, and better depth of field. Eventually, the cameras will capture 3D, 360 degree shots. No need for Samsung or LG's external 360 cameras. And you'll be able to see those 3D, 360 shots by attaching your phone to a virtual reality headset or as a hologram that jumps right off your phone's screen. Oh yes, a startup called Leia 3D is working on special projection technology that pops images right off the screen. Yeah, I'm not entirely down with holographic selfies, but what I am sold on is wireless charging. In the future, we don't have any of these. I'm not talking about those silly wireless charging pads. I'm talking about wireless power that behaves like Wi-Fi. As soon as you walk into a powered area, your phone begins charging. And hopefully, your brain doesn't start to fry. Companies like Asia and Energis are working on transmitters and receivers needed for true wireless power. Of course, the question for all of this is when? End of 2017, early 2018. Second half of 2017, mid to late 2017. So by 2018, I should be holding a modular smartphone that's wirelessly charging with eight cameras while I video chat with a hologram of my mom. Yeah, I don't think so. It's likely to take longer than that. But smartphones are going to wow us again. We just have to wait. I don't know. All right.